Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we'll be talking about how you can archive your Microsoft Outlook emails to a local file. Let's get started. I'm going to launch my Microsoft Office Outlook. The version that we're looking at, I'm going to click on trash so that I cover my emails here. Anyway, the version that we're looking at on this computer is version 2016, which is Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2016 and whatever build you have here. So I have a bunch of emails here and I don't have any more folders here on the side. I'll show you what I mean by that. But take note, I've got only uh, an email here, right? So um, one email account. So uh, Microsoft Office, uh, you know how Microsoft Office, you can actually access your email when you are sitting in the airport offline, you know, when there's no Wi-Fi, you can actually serve your email, you can hit send and your buffer and all that. Those functions are actually uh, facilitated by the file called OST, which is a uh, Microsoft Outlook uh, offline data file. That file is actually stored here. Let me show you where it is. Click on File, go click on Account Settings, Account Settings, and then click on Data Files here. So this is where the files is stored. Depending on how many folders and email you have in your archive, uh, it, this can go really big. So for this email here, if I click on Open File Location, I'll open the uh, Windows Explorer here. You can see I've got 3.3 gigabyte worth of email here uh, just because I've been using these emails for about well over 15 years or maybe more. Not too sure. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So depending on how many emails you have and how many you are putting in different folders, this file size varies. And moving these files on a 3 gig can be challenging sometimes, right? So what you do is that you divvy up into different folders uh, that allows us to introduce a new file called PST file. PST file is actually your personal storage file that you can actually create. Let me show you what I mean by PST file. If you click on this add here, take a note here, there's nothing here. Click on add here, then give it a name called something else. Right, and click OK. And note how this sign a demo comes in here. So this is coinciding with this here. I'm going to click close here. And let's say I'm looking at this email here in my inbox, for example, right? So I want to store it in a separate folder. Right click, new folder, call it test YouTube. And you can actually drag this into your test YouTube folder here. So it frees up your OST file. So if I go back in your files, account settings, account settings, and look at data files. So that email there, the test YouTube, is being stored in here. So essentially what happens is that your OST file, which is your offline file, will become smaller, right? I can actually go ahead and uh, email all the, sorry, move all this folder into a test uh, YouTube folder here on the Signet demo. So what I mean by that is I click, say, for example, um, I click all this uh, boxes and I, uh, sorry, emails, uh, and I start moving them one by one. Uh, your OST file, will essentially become smaller, that's what I mean. So here, yeah, this will become smaller. Right now it's three gigabyte, right? 3.3 gigabyte, it will become smaller. And this file here, if you click on open file location, will naturally become bigger as you go along. So what it does is that divide and conquer, you know, you have two different files, it's easy to move and easy to archive. That's one thing. So you can create multiple PSD file, but you only, you can only have one OSD file. So you can click add, and you can add. Note how this thing get added every time I add a new PST file. And likewise, you can move, you can organize in such a way that uh, you can create different folders, right? You know, it's up to you. And then move this each of these folders into different locations. So actually divvy up into different location because there are cases where your OST file. I'm gonna go back there again. There are cases I've seen where the client has a corrupted OST file, this file here, and essentially losing all your emails in your inbox. And that can be bad, right? So if you divvy up, at least if one of your PST file is corrupted, you are not losing any of your email there. So that's one thing, that's one advantage. So another thing you can do with a PST file is that you can make it a default, right? So right now, uh, right now my main email is is the default so any emails that come through uh, my email address 
will be will be storing it on this OST file. You can go in here and make this a default by clicking set default and you click OK. And any email that comes in here will get stored on the Signet demo uh, PST file. Right, that you can automate it that way. Um, and the final thing, oh, one more thing actually, if you double click sign at demo, you can actually compact it now. So it's actually making the email smaller in size. And this uh, Outlook data file properties here also tells you where your file is, right? Another thing you can do, also you can do the same thing on the OST file. I already did mine, so it's gonna take a bit to do it. Do a three gig, 3.3 gigabyte file, so I'm not gonna do it. And finally, finally, the last thing I want to show you is to removing the PSD file, right? You can go in here and click remove. It's that simple. You can see this thing's being updated on uh, uh, real time here. Delete, remove. And the last one, delete, remove. And there you have it. So in a nutshell, that's what OST and PSD file is. The difference is that OST file, you need it for sure uh, to store offline emails and what have you. Uh, you must have an OSD file, but your PSD file, you can have multiple of them. A PSD file is used to store your personal information or your personal folders, organize it in your way and store it in your local hard drive. Both files resize on your local hard drive. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this. If you do, please subscribe and like. Other than that, have a good day. Bye.